I promise I'll get to you, sorry. Go ahead. Um, I mean, just on this, this uh, reported Smotrich deal, and you've said that you obviously see outposts as inconsistent with international law, but I'm just a bit confused because, you know, the reason these outposts are created by settlers is to, one of the reasons is to draw in the Israeli military because they then are a protection force for those settlers that are there. So you say they're inconsistent with international law, they're de destabilizing. But you are at the same time arming the military force that goes to protect the people that do it. I mean, isn't that a very confused policy? So we have a security relationship with uh, the government of Israel, Tom. That is no surprise to you or anybody um, in this uh, room. Let's also remember that Israel, when we talk about their security relationship and the threats they are facing, it is not simply just about the West Bank and Gaza. Uh, they have threats they deal from uh, other malign actors in the region. Hezbollah in the north, Iran and other proxies uh, that uh, partake in destabilizing activities across the region. Now, when it comes to the provision of specific arms and articles, whether they are used in Gaza or the West Bank or used in other operations that our partners in Israel are conducting, there are clear protocols and policies in place, uh, as well as our continued engagement to ensure that uh, uh, security assets are, uh, when used, that their impact on civilians are minimized um, and that they are are used uh, in accordance to the way that the United States has provisioned them. Uh, that does not detract from our longstanding view that such kind of settlement activities is inconsistent with international law. And ultimately, uh, when we're talking about a more peaceful, more uh, stable region, it's a detraction from that as well. But I don't ask, I mean, I just ask not because these are sort of one-off incidents, but this is systemic, you know, outposts, and now they're being legalized by the finance minister as part of this apparent deal. Outposts are there, you know, one of the reasons that they exist is very specific. It draws in the military to Palestinian owned land that in many cases is a privately owned, this is privately owned Palestinian land that is taken uh, by settlers. So it's more than just inconsistent with international law. Uh, it, it would be seen by any objective observer as the theft of land. And the point I'm making is that you're arming the military force that goes in to protect the people that do that. So when it comes to the oversight of the security assets um, that we provide to any country, including Israel, there are, of course, accountability measures and uh, protocols in place to ensure that such um, uh, assets are used responsibly. And but you've they're not, seen those us protocols are not obviously in place in this, for this particular, these particular actions because it's been going on for years and years. And now you have the Israeli government actually, as part of a deal, not to withhold you know, correspondent banking, which is... Tom, I, I stood, but, I stood but, I mean, behind this going, podium. Yes, I, not, this is not, these are not individual incidents. This is something that... Tom, I stood behind this podium uh, a, a number of months ago to talk about um, how this administration uh, uh, used the Leahy law to look into uh, the use of uh, American security assets in particular units that may or may not have been operating in the West Bank. So I, I don't want to get into a back and forth on the specific provision of arms because that's a level of technical detail that we're just not in a uh, place to get to. What I can say and reiterate again is that our security relationship with Israel is robust. It is uh, far greater than just the West Bank and Gaza, that there are real legitimate threats that Israel faces in the region. Uh, but when it comes to the provision of uh, American security articles, there are accountability measures in place uh, that the United States continues to have at its disposal to ensure that those articles are being res used responsibly and for its intent. But simultaneously, that is all. it is also true that it is our view that settlement activity and outposts are inconsistent with international law. But I'm, the point I'm making is you say that's your policy, but it's actually not your policy. It's something you're saying, but what you're actually doing is militarizing the force that allows those outposts it to It absolutely exist. is our policy, so, Tom, and we and, have taken and a number of legalized. steps. So these, many of these are on land. It, it absolutely is our policy, and over the course of this administration, uh, especially in the past few months, we have taken a number of steps to hold those accountable who we believe to be perpetuating violence and destabilizing actions uh, in the West Bank. So, now, wait, but since you mentioned it, how, how is that Leahy review of the one unit? I don't have any uh, updates for you, Matt. So in other words, there hasn't been anything done? Uh, that's not true. That's not true at all. That's not true? When I stood behind this podium and they talked about it, They haven't been given I'm... a clean bill of health or given, uh, you know, 
given a, a, a that particular know, unit red notice or that, that particular they unit those uh, those uh, yeah. it continues to be under review but on that same day how long has Matt, that been please under don't review interrupt now? me Hold when what, no, that no, same no, day no. that how? same day I also talked about a number of other units in which consistent with the memorandum of understanding that we have with Israel we worked to uh, identify issues and remediate and rectify those problems uh, so the security relationship with those particular units uh, could persist the point that I'm making is that we have levers at our disposal. Okay. How long has it been since that, that that's been under review? Yeah. It would, that one unit. It's, it, it would have been a number of weeks, and I don't have any. A number of for weeks. You. Well, that could be like 52. That could be 100. It, it's not 52. I believe no, we last I know, talked about this. No, I know, but it's more than a month. Sure. I don't Definitely have any updates for you. Month. The point that I'm making, Matt, okay. is that... So where's the accountability, then? We have a number of tools at our disposal, and you have mm -hmm. seen this administration utilize them when it comes to okay, what, the, we're just, the so government. So what have you utilized? What, what tool have you utilized so far, other than the... 2,000 pound bombs, the suspension. We what just else? were talking about how we used Leahy vetting, uh, but beyond that, there continue but to be other processes. Use, you haven't used Leahy vetting. You haven't, you haven't suspended Because anything. consistent with Leahy vetting is identifying okay. uh, paths to so, remediation so and what other that problem. What other accountability measures have you used the, other than the, the, the one the small point that I, the, shipment of, of, of weapons that has been held up? Matt, what, what I said was that event. there are there are uh, levers at our disposal, and we what, have spent okay, a number of times they? talking about them. The Churg process is an example. The what? Leahy process, the Churg, yes. don't act. Okay. We yes. have talked no, about no, the Churg no, no. process yes. a number okay. of times. And the Leahy process. The Leahy, and process. the Leahy process has resulted in what? Matt. So far. The point of the Leahy process and consistent and with Turg our process. memorandum what has, of understanding. What has been the result of that so far? Consistent with the memorandum of understanding that we have with Israel, we had worked to rectify and remediate those problems. I was the point to Tom's question was I was answering was that we have tools at our disposal for the responsible use of their security assets. That does not detract from our long-held belief that settlements and outpost activity are inconsistent with international I think, law. I think, Vedant, the problem is, is that, that, that what he's raising and what a lot of other people are raising is that, yes, you do have these levers, but you're not using them. A lot. We are also not going to speak to active and ongoing deliberative processes from up here. Said, go ahead. Thank you. Before I go to Gaza, I just want to follow.